welcome. I'd like to talk to you today about a little beach called Kalini. About 45 minutes south of Dublin on train is a little beach that lies at the foot of the Whitwell Mountains. This fascinating landscape is interesting for its geological activity. This place has an interesting story to tell, and I'd love to share it with you. If you can look behind me, the areas around here are made of shale and sandstone. It was deposited here from mud and other sediments from an ancient sea known as Lapidus. The higher granite hills sit next to quartzite, which is sand that was hardened over 500 million years which is why the granite hills behind me are higher than the lower ground. All the different rocks that have been deposited here are sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. The sedimentary rocks contain fossils that lived in the sea here 330 million years ago. The rocks on this beach all came from, came from the cliffs over there. They were deposited by a glacier, and they brought all different kinds of rocks rounded over time because of the action of the sea. A more famous of these rocks is this granite that comes from Scotland, which is used for hurling. As you might have noticed, there's a 17 meter cliff behind me. These rocks were possibly deposited through glacial till. There are giant boulders stuck inside of this cliffside. You can see that they are very round. You may ask, how did a giant boulder get inside of that soil all the way up there? Well, there's a couple, couple of ideas. One is that this whole area was covered in an ice sheet going that way, depositing these rocks through fluvial flows into the sediment as it was receding into the Irish Sea. Another idea is that this whole basin was frozen over when the ice began to melt and break up due to a high sea level rise, these subglacial tunnels brought all of this material and put them there. Unlike over here, where the soil is raw and it is crumbly, this is soft soil. Over there on Wicklow Mountain, it is granite. And like my cohort has explained earlier, it is igneous rock. This stuff deposited it's all going away. It's, it's eroding at a feet a year. About 325 million years ago, this whole area was covered in a tropical sea. From that sea, there were deposits that were put down and settled into layers. I mean, later on, I'll explain what happened and what caused these formations. But if you think this one is cool, I've got something very interesting to show you. Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. I was just doing some science. Welcome to beautiful, sunny, tropical Loch Shinny. Horses are galloping, geologists are strolling, the tide is out so it can bring us to this beautiful, amazing geological location. Now if you Look just to my left, you can see some textbook, textbook chevron folds, if you don't mind my pun. After millions of years of deposition, which is a fancy word for saying all this organic matter collected at the bottom of this ancient sea, layers were formed of corals, fossils, of brachial pods and other sediments, creating these layers behind me. Around 290 million years ago, this whole area behind me was subject to horizontal compression. Scientists theorize that plate tectonics were responsible for this compression, and it's what caused the layers to buckle and create these chevron formations. When these folds were being formed, cracks opened up, Hydrothermal fluids were deposited. Calcite was brought in and became crystallized. These crystals are massive and extremely rare.
After our geological surveys, I've hoped that you've learned a new thing or two about the past. I know I have, so hopefully you, the generation of tomorrow, can utilize this new information and help make a bright, shiny future. And remember, rocks don't just pave the way to the local tavern, they also pave the way to the future. I'm Justin Keskin. And I'm Eric Pollock. And this has been our science project. Three, two, one. Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. Welcome. Oh, you didn't. About three hundred. million years ago, this whole area was covered in a tropical sea. Deposits from different... <laughs> <laughs> you started walking up and there's just only your uh, nose and mustache. After our geological surveys, I hope that you have learned a thing or two. I know I have. So hopefully, you and I can utilize this new knowledge I can't, I can't remember it! It's, it's, you give the generation of tomorrow a break. I, that's not, I'm looking, that's not what it says. What? It's, you give... I, you know what? You, uh, well, uh, Justin, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Justin, it's... Oh, it's oh, easy. all right!